Hey guys, so I got my makeup on. Um, I'm actually feeling like good in myself. Like sometimes I think you just need to, even if you feel rubbish, like obviously you know, there's a fine line between feeling rubbish and feeling well enough to put makeup on. But yeah, like I feel like doing your brows, you know, putting a bit of eye makeup on and just, it makes you feel like a bit more, I can't really describe it, but I'm sure there's people out there that you guys know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I've taken a couple of selfies, I might upload one, and it's just a bit of like me time without having to to, to strain, like to go out and stuff. With that said though, I think me and Tom might be going out a little bit later. Um, but yeah, I wanted to quickly uh, ask a question really. So I've been having, as you guys know, I've got mast cell activation disorder, which mast cells are a type of cell in your body and... I'm not really sure exactly how it works, but basically when you get an allergic reaction, your body releases histamine to kind of counteract it, if that makes sense. Um, now, with my cells, your body's basically doing that all the time, so you can just react to anything and your body doesn't really know how to like fight that. So recently I've been having like a weird type of mast cell. Feel free to correct correct me in the comments because I'm probably wrong. Um, I honestly don't know much about my own condition really, which is a bit silly, I should. I've been getting a particular type of mast cell reaction, which is kind of like what I normally get, and it's high V. But after, and after I've taken my meds, they usually go away and settle down. But I'm actually being left with bruise, and it's happening over and over again, like on my back, on my arms, on my legs. We tried to get an appointment to see the doctor today, but we couldn't. We could get an appointment, just not with the doctor I wanted, and I want it to be with someone who knows my case. So hopefully, we can get one for tomorrow with someone that. I know um if not then i'm just gonna have to see a random doctor because i can't leave it in case it is something else um i'm gonna quickly show you the one on my leg that happened last night and i'm gonna show you the one that happened two nights ago so bear with me so that is kind of i don't know how well you can actually see that but that is the one on my upper leg that i literally just said was a bit too revealing but i'm just not i'm just gonna show you the bruising so that's what's left of it that's after two and a half days you can still see around the edges like the spotting of it now I'm going to show you the one that happened last night. I mind, kind of ignore my hairy legs. So as you can see, it's still quite... The swelling has gone and the hives have gone, but I'm left with this dotty rash and then the bruising that is starting to appear all along my shin here. And it's this one is a lot more painful than my other one. And I basically have no idea what it is. Um, it, but the one on my lower leg is very very painful even though the one on my thigh looks worse and i do have another one which is higher up on my leg which i will not be showing but you guys get the idea um so that's happening all over my body and they're very very painful after normally they are a bit painful after like in the areas where i've had them but they're normally within a day 24 hours 48 hours max they're not painful at all but these are really painful so I have no idea what's going on and I'm getting a lot more bruising all around my legs and my arms than I normally do so I'm not really sure what's going on so definitely need to go get it checked out I think but yeah let me know guys um but yeah I'm just relaxing I'm reading a bit of my book I'm gonna do a live stream on Instagram in a bit um but yeah I hope everyone's okay and I am feeling a lot, lot better than I was on Tuesday so yeah guys I've thrown up my tube this is what's left um I feel horrible right now. Probably about to leave for the hospital. My heart rate is super high and I really don't know what's wrong. And I'm sweaty and I'll just I'll update you guys when I can. Hey guys, so we're in Majors HD at the moment. Um We just spoke to the doctor, he was actually really nice. It's so weird not having a tube on my face. We're getting fluids and some other stuff and then they're just checking blood and everything. Maybe an infection, not sure. Um, there's something obviously because I've been a bit dodgy over the couple of the past couple of days, but yeah, so I guess I'll just keep you guys updated as stuff happens. Um, it's just like it's come at a bad time, but at the same time, I'm glad it's happening now and not like a week before we're meant to go to Australia. So hopefully, this will be nothing like last time because last time I was a week without with nothing. Um, so we're getting meds and stuff now, hopefully that'll make me feel a little bit better and then hopefully we can get the tube placed within the next couple of days and it won't be like as long recovery as it was last time. Hey guys, so sorry if my filming is like super shaky, it's because 
my potassium's a bit low and stuff and I'm very shaky. So we've got potassium running there. I'm on the monitor as well because my heart rate is going faster and stuff. And I'm, the IV is in like a really dodgy place because every time like I bend my elbow like a tiny bit, like it beeps. Normally it's actually okay when it's in my elbow crease, but apparently not. Apparently not today, um, but I'm being admitted, which is okay, I guess. I mean, obviously I don't expect to go home because I can't eat or anything. So anyway. Goodbye, darling. <laughs> hey guys, so I know it's really loud in here. There's a lot going on, so I'm just gonna make this really, really quick. Um, I am on a ward now. Um, the IVs are going, which is making me feel a lot better. Pain is much more managed from where the pain came before. I was... <sighs> compared to when I was in a and &E. I'm seeing the pain team tomorrow. Um, so hopefully we get my pain more under control because it's really not under control at the moment. And then hopefully we speak to Castro about what's happening with the permanent tubes. But for the moment we need to get another NJ place before we can sort out permanent tubes, so that's what's happening. I'll update you guys when I can, but I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Um, I guess I'll see everyone tomorrow.